In this video, let's take a look at the Cessna 182 and see why it is very possible it is the best single engine general aviation aircraft. A uh, stock 182 with no modifications can do this kind of flying with no problem. Lightly loaded with a competent pilot should be okay. But if you add modifications, you will have a lot more margin. There are airplanes designed or made to go fast like the Mooney, it can go very fast and be economical, it's kind of smaller inside and not carry too much in the cargo area, limited to smooth grass or runways. Then there is the Bonanza, also fast, a little more roomy than the Mooney, well built. It can go on grass runways, can travel long distances with tip tanks, and it's a great airplane. Also, it's quite economical. Here is the Cirrus. This one is made as a travel machine, goes very fast, economical, and has lots of automatization. So, it really depends on the mission. If you want an airplane to go places, travel fast, land on paved runways or very smooth grass runways. Any of these airplanes are great. All of these airplanes are faster than a Cessna 182. The 182 can also travel anywhere, economical, and is just not as fast. I have flown my Cessna 182 from Costa Rica to Seattle along the coast of Mexico, the Pacific coast with two more friends, lots of baggage, and it was very comfortable. The Cessna 182 is a great platform for IFR flying. You can do approaches, but it's not certified for flying in icing conditions. One good thing about the Cessna 182 it is that it is very roomy, has lots of room. You can put a fully assembly mountain bike inside, no problem which is a great thing to do because then you just arrive to the place, take out the bike and ride. You don't have to spend time reassembling the bike and disassembling again. Just go ride, have fun, put it back on the plane, fly back. The Cessna 182 is a great backcountry airplane. You can fly to grass strips or dirt strips without any modifications. available for the Cessna 182 to fly in the back country. They are not absolutely needed, but definitely they will give you a better margin. Slower approaching speeds, shorter landings, shorter takeoffs. Also when you are at bigger tires, you get more clearance for the propeller and more protection for the airframe they absorb all the vibration and the rough terrain. 
So the 182 can do all the traveling long distance, but it can also do this kind of flying. This is Soldier Bar in Idaho. It's one of the rougher strips. As a backcountry airplane, the 182 is very capable. It can carry four people into lots of these places with light weight and also in comfort. The airplane is very comfortable. It's wide and the rear seats is, are like a sofa, super comfortable. So we have an airplane that can travel long distances in comfort, high fire conditions can also travel into the back country, carrying a lot. The 182 is a very stable airplane, no bad habits. Quickest link is that the nose gear is attached to a firewall. But if you're careful with your landings, you should be okay. The 182 is not carbon cup or super cup. But can it do off airport? It definitely can do some off airport with some considerations. After the modification, this airplane becomes very, very capable for backcountry and off airport flying. Here is a canyon turn. So now let's have a look what can it do off airport. See, it is not super cup, or bit of super cup, but you can bring it to a gravel bars and have some fun. Always taking care of the nose gear. 182s are not the best at anything, but they can do everything. So I think that makes it the best single engine general aviation airplane. Uh, it can do it pretty well, in comfort and reliably. The Cessna 182 was introduced in 1956 and it is still in production. It has 230 horsepower with a Continental 0470 and then in 1996 they put a Lycoming 54. Mine is a P model 1973. You can see the Sportsman's Tall Kit and the VGs which makes a big difference for flying in the back country. This will allow you to come a lot slower and land shorter. Also take off shorter. Bigger tires for sure help. 850s on the mains and 7 on the nose. Empty propeller makes a big difference. Very lightweight. Quick acceleration, smooth and it's like an air brake for those steep approaches. Highly recommend it. Angle of attack indicator is the safest equipment you can put in your airplane. Every landing you are coming at the right speed. No floating, no sinking, 
it compensates for temperature and weight. Angle of attack indicator allows you to do this kind of fly safely. I use the Alpha systems and I have been using it for more than 2000 hours. And if I buy a new airplane, this is the very first thing I install. I am a dealer for Alpha systems, so if anybody wants to buy one, let me know. I can give you a discount. So as you can see the 182 with the right modifications can do a lot of, of purple flying, short ground bars and also can do traveling and good places in comfort and carrying a lot. So there are not that many airplanes that can do all this safely and reliably. So it's a good old airplane, not the best at anything but it can do everything. I guess it can be the best general aviation single engine airplane. Thanks for watching and please join, join me on Patreon to support a Patreon or a Country 182 channel. Go to the uh, YouTube channel on the right hand side, there is the link, and then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for a Country 182 YouTube channel. Also, another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel. There is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support. wife and today we're excited to announce the launching of Patreon for our YouTube channel Bad Country 182 which gives fans and friends the opportunity to support creators like Larry and myself by paying a monthly amount and receiving exclusive content so with your support through Patreon we will be able to make more and better content more often and new videos and Larry can connect with you more personally to hear your questions and concerns and what would you like to see? The really cool thing of being a patron is that every dollar amount does help. So go ahead and check out the videos. You can be a fan and look for our goals to see what we will be able to achieve together at every level of support. Come join us and be part of our adventure.